Get a cup, get a cup, get a cup. Uh, welcome back everyone to another video. I kind of wanted just to, to express my thoughts on uh, a video I was watching yesterday. Now, a streamer by the name of Asmund Gold. I actually watch, but he had like a really, uh, a take on a, uh, on a topic that I think was really bad. I do not agree with it. And uh, in this video, I kind of just want to go over why. But uh, yeah, with that being said, let's begin. And remember, we're all entitled to our own opinion. If you don't agree with me, that's fine. Let's go. All right, let's go. It's the only time. <laughs> Who is this guy? Having a boyfriend is worth it. Is when? Is when he is able to fully support you and pay all your bills. I said it. I said it. Yeah, you said it. But wouldn't it just be so much easier to admit that one is broke and can't actually handle being an adult and paying one's own bills? Okay, first off, what the, the first girl said about the only time having a boyfriend is worth it is when he's gonna pay your bills. That's a pretty bad take. <laughs> I think the point of a relationship is to find someone that you're compatible with and that you can love and that you can share the rest of your life together and, you know, raise a family and enjoy, you know, a part of life that not everyone gets to enjoy. And I understand divorce rates are high, okay? I understand divorce rates are high, but if you find the right person and you work on, like relationships are, there's always work involved, okay? People don't get that. Any first little bit of uh, struggle or whatever, people are like, that's it, <laughs> throw in the towel, we're done. They never want to work on it. And people also focus on the negative. When your relationship starts getting strained, people seem to focus on the negative in their partners. And that will only enhance the negatives that they see. If people instead focused on the positive things, they would see more of the positive. Because that's just how that's just how things work. You get what you focus on. So if you were to focus on the positives of your significant other, you would see more of that. And that is a great way to help keep a relationship together. Regardless, I think the first lady is wrong. In her, well, I'm, you're entitled to your opinion, but I don't know how many men you're going to find, <laughs> you, know, you know, with that opinion. No, I think that's totally fine. She's right. She's right. That's totally fine. You want to... Now, now, what he says here, I, I don't agree with. Have a traditional marriage and you want to be a, a stay-at-home wife and have kids, it's totally fine. It's a good thing. But she's not talking about a traditional marriage right here. She's talking about a boyfriend. That's, what he, that's where he's wrong. I agree with him in terms of if she was talking about a husband, you know, if she wants a husband, it makes sense if it's a traditional marriage that the husband makes enough money to afford for the family. That makes sense. So I would agree that way, but she's not talking about that. She's talking about before they're married. She's talking about a boyfriend that's going to pay her bills before they're married, before, you know, before they've tied the knot. She's talking about someone that she can just get money from. She's not talking about, oh, when we have marriage and then when we have kids and then if I got to stay home and take care of the kids, we need, we need to make sure that there's enough money coming in to, to pay for this. If she wants a traditional marriage, that's fine. And I am more, you know, for that. But she, she's not talking about that. She's just talking about a boyfriend who's going to give her money because she, I don't know, maybe in her career she doesn't make enough or she's just stupid with money. I don't know. I, I don't know. But she's not talking about what he is thinking she's talking about. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with what she's saying. Your husband, yeah. if you're going to be a girlfriend to someone, he needs to be paying all, all, all your bills. Otherwise, why is he there? Uh -huh. What is his purpose? Well, I could think of several reasons, actually, but what do I know? If he's not, he's just a boyfriend. Meaning if he leaves mm -hmm. you in... A boyfriend is not a legal title. Congratulations for That's figuring true. that part out. If he leaves you and promises you marriage, leaves you with nothing, you get nothing. Yeah, but you're not married. I saw this argument, like I've always been one for prenups, which is, if you don't know what it is, it's when you're married, you sign a document before you're married, that way when you do, if, if let's say when you do, because that's, <laughs> that's anticipating things are going to go downhill. If you get a divorce, you lose half your money, right? But if you get a prenup, that means that the money that you have at the time of marriage is yours at the end of that marriage. So what she's saying is like, you're not getting anything out of the relationship. Oh, frick, I kind of lost track of what I was just saying. But what do I know? If he's not, he's just a boyfriend. Meaning if he leaves you and a boyfriend is not a legal title. Congratulations for That's figuring true. that part out. If he leaves you and promises you marriage, leaves you with nothing, you get nothing. There we go. Promises you with marriage, doesn't actually marry you. So yeah, what are you entitled to? You're not entitled to anything. You get nothing. You get nothing. If I wanted to, uh, you know, sleep with someone, but I'm paying for every single thing in their life, I, I, it's probably financially more viable to go with a uh, 
a sex worker. <laughs> Because what else is it then? If I'm having to pay for every single thing in your life and uh, that's the only way things will work out, it doesn't make any sense. It only makes sense if you are married and if you want to raise a family and you want a traditional marriage, then yes, it makes sense where the husband would then have to make enough money to afford the kids mortgage and the wife to support everyone. That makes sense, but she's not arguing that. She's arguing that in the, the beginning stages of a relationship, she needs to be profiting. She needs to be, you know, profitable in the beginning stages. This is not a business, okay? This is a relationship between people. What if you're friends? If you're just friends with someone, should it like, I only be friends with people that I'm able to squeeze for cash? Like that, that's not how things work. At least they understand the basics. But I have a feeling I know what happened to her in the past. Yeah, she probably got dumped or something. She was, she was like promised marriage. She probably got dumped and uh, you know, now she's like really hurt from it. I don't know if that's, I, you can kind of see that's probably what happened. I've got a pretty good feeling about what I think might have happened. If he's paying all your bills, you're able to save money, you're able to invest into uh -huh. businesses that you want to do. If he leaves you, you're leaving with something else at the end of it. Another example of a strong... Yeah, what you're left with is the knowledge that that's not the right person for you. That's how, that's what it's supposed to be. Not that, yo, well, I, I dated this person for a year and, and hey, I saved 15 grand. You know, that's not, that's not what relationships are about. Independent woman who can stand on their own two feet. Not at all. Also, why is this lady like, I agree with what she's saying, but the way she's postured and behaving, it seems kind of, I wouldn't say snobby, but it seems kind of like stuck up or something, you know? <sighs> lady, you are so wrong. You don't even know it. A gold digger. But to date a guy. No, she isn't a gold digger. Uh, like, if, if you want to be a traditional wife, that doesn't make you a gold digger. That's not what she's arguing for. She's arguing that she needs to profit in the beginning stages of a relationship, <laughs> not after they've tied the knot. That's what I wanted to make this video to say is that I think this is a. I, I don't agree with his take, but he's entitled to it. Absolutely not. No, that's the way that they've been. Like, we've done things that way for like uh, hundreds of years, thousands of years. He's right, but he's not, this is not the context. This isn't proper context. He is right that that is how it has been for essentially all of eternity. You know, the man makes the money to uh, support the whole family. Nowadays, that's very difficult because of inflation, because of money printing. So that has kind of destroyed, you know, what uh, potential there is for income, uh, depending what field you're in. But, uh, you know, he is right that it has been that way throughout most of eternity, but she's not arguing that. She's saying, as a boyfriend, you should be supporting her. I don't agree with that. As a husband, if she wants a traditional marriage, yeah. The years. Like, that's just the way the world works. And the reason the world works that way is because women can't do a lot of things whenever they have, uh, whenever they're pregnant, they're taking care of kids. So like, that's the way that like it. I've seen, I've seen it argued like this, even regarding like when you get a divorce and if you lose like a bunch of money to the woman, is that if the lady is, you know, if she has a career and she puts that on pause to then, you know, raise kids over the course of a long time, many years, she loses that career. She loses whatever income generating ability she had. That's now lost because she rose a family. And then if you get a divorce, she then has no income generating power and that she has kids she has to look after, or, and if she doesn't have the kids, and if he's got the kids, then she has to pay him child support, you know, she, and she doesn't have income generating ability. So it, it kind of makes sense that way, but that's still not what we're talking about here. She wants money from the boyfriend before they're even married. Whatever, I'm gonna end the video here. Hopefully I, I don't come across too aggressive. I just think that his take, although I agree with it, that's not what she is saying. She is wanting money before, you know, anything is official. Getting your significant other gifts and nice things you know that can be is people's love language i understand that but that's not that's not even what she's saying she wants her bills paid <laughs> she she wants her bills paid and uh she wants to be able to save money for her own needs nothing nothing to do with the relationship it's just for her it's it's solely focused on her and whatever you know she wants not the, the relationship that she's talking about anyway that's it for this video hope you guys liked it i kind of wanted to do something different for today hopefully hopefully you enjoyed this though but yeah anyway whatever i'll see you guys next time